I just wish we would just start off with the mind blower one because sometimes I wonder, after I've, I've tried like two or three or seven. Finger your palate. That, okay. Clean. Oh, yeah. yeah. Does that work? No. Nothing. <sighs> okay. All right. <clears throat> what are we doing, Balvini? No, we're doing Glen, Glen Ranji second. Uh, good. Okay. You're ready, like sweetheart? Are we already counting? I feel like yeah, he's going to have a little sippy sip of this. Okay. Just Welcome. And to America. You, and thank you for joining us on the Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. I am definitely fucking Billy. And I am absolutely Mike. And today. No cussing. See what I mean? Comment about the who cusses better. Or should he cuss more or should I cuss less? We bring you the Glen Morangi Signet. My favorite Glen Morangi. P from Jesus' Wiener. This one is a non-age statement or a Naz whiskey. Literally, I read on the internet, there are unicorn tears mixed in this. Sadly, some unicorns were killed in the making of this whiskey. Don't this be is mad. what I'll tell you about this one. This has been around since the early uh, 2000s, 2002, 2004, and it was actually made as a non-age statement whiskey on purpose. Really? Not something like we're a Macau or someone else is doing a non-age statement because they're running out of stocks. This was made to be a non-age weight uh, That's a whiskey. Fancy bottle. Glen Morangi, which is owned by Moet Hennessy, does a bunch of fancy bottlings. Really nice packaging. Is that magnetic? Yep. It is magnetic. Let me tell you a little bit of what makes this whiskey special. It does have various Mike, ages. Mike, Mike. Yes? We can't go on until we discuss this. Talk to me. Magnets. How do they work? Polarity. Uh, you're going to have to give me a little bit more than polarity, bro. That's all I know. Because I've been to Polaris, and it sucks. Billy's a juggler. Are you juggler? <laughs> it, it's science. It's science. All right, so what makes this special is it's a mixture of many different years. Ooh. They put in sherry casks. They put in ex bourbon casks. They also source wood from some of the for some of the oldest whiskeys they have in here from the North Ozark Mountains. <whistles> I guess the wood grows slow, so the rings are closer, yeah. so it imparts more flavor into the whiskey. Ooh, denser, some, denser wood. And some of the whiskeys in this bottle are between thirty-five and forty years old. I have a secret to tell. Mike, tell me. I have a secret to tell. Super nice box. Feel that. Can we have? Can quality. we have? Can Sean have a taste? Yeah. One's worth. Our buddy Sean. Ooh, that is. Can I put that on a shirt like right here? I mean, that's. Okay, I have a secret to tell. Mike literally has had this bottle for like six days. I have drank the whole thing. It is so good. It is. What, okay, what's this going? Uh, retail U.S. Columbus, Ohio. The January end of January, twenty seventeen. Two hundred fifty bucks. Two hundred fifty dollar bottle. Forty six percent ABV. Just She's a, a beauty. Just She's absolute beauty. beautiful bottle. It's it's dark on the top too, so you don't know how much you drank, which is a, a, oh, a wicked game to that play. That is so because you're mean. drinking and the bottle's heavy because it's so thick on Great the glass. Great marketing ploy. Great marketing ploy. And I think to myself, I have plenty of whiskey left. And then you see it about right here, and you're like, oh wait a second, I don't have you have been to a Belize? Left. If you please, no. Belize that. So when I went to Belize, <laughs> there's only one beer. I guess now there's a couple beers, but when I was at the time I was there, there was one beer. It's a Belizean beer. It's called Belkin. Like Pelican, Belkin. What's the point? The point is, their bottles are so fucking heavy that when it's empty, you're holding the bottle. You still think there's more in there, so you do this every time. No drink. Fuck! <laughs> like that. They get you. Okay, so I believe this is, this is non-chill filter, but it is, I believe, colored. I believe they add some color because the batches are different. They want to make it a consistent color. It's got a... It's, it's dark, though. There's a right on the it nose. It is dark. 46% ABV from the Glen Marangi Distillery in the North oh. Highlands. If you sniff this too hard, it could induce a cough, I think. Glen Marangi is known for the tallest stills of any whiskey distillery in Scotland. 5.14 meters tall. That means a very light spirit is what finally makes it to be recondensed. Give me three, give me three reasons why. This? That happens. Because of the, heavy, the distance it has to travel? Yes, one. Uh, that's all I got. Okay. I got there's, there's three right there, baby. So let's give this a sniff. What are you smelling? <sighs> let's be honest. it has great legs. Can I be honest for a second? Can someone drive me home? <laughs> How many have we done already? This is, why are we broadcasting this live? This is four. All right. I hope there's not a state trooper watching this. Stick to the plane. So what are you smelling in this? Dude, it's, it, it gets you right off the bat. It's dingly. There's some chocolate in here. Oh, there is. 
super chocolatey. You know how like sometimes you take a girl's panties off and you sniff them when they're not watching and it kind of smells like pencil shavings? I get a little bit of pencil shaving. I gotta say, that has not happened to me. Really? Try it out. No pencil shaving for me. Get the, open this up, smell this. I don't know if it's chocolate or if it's more of a cocoa. Smell that pencil I, shaving. We'll get that in a minute. Uh, I, I, I don't know it's if it's mess. chocolate or a little bit more of a cocoa smell. It really looked like he was reading on the back of the box for women's underwear and pencil shavings. Hold on. It's very similar. Let's, let's take I our, like it. I like let's it. Let's take our first sip. A little, a little sip. It's a little intense, but I like it. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Ooh. You almost get like a tanny thing, like wine there. It has that chocolate all day. Oh, all chocolate. It's, it's not exactly chocolate though. It's Roasted like, almonds. It's like cocoa. Yeah, like cocoa powder. Like Co yeah, like when like, I say chocolate, I only mm. eat dark chocolate. So I'm talking like 90% and above is all I will eat as far as chocolate goes. That's is, what I'm getting. This is straight cocoa to me. There's a yeah, Co like the pop, like burp, nibs. Like, like a lush. You ever chew on a cocoa nib? No, but like a really lush good cocoa. Yeah, this is really nice. You know what? Okay, and it has like an old quality to it. Like, uh, it almost reminds me of a. It's a little bit of the sherry taste I get from a Glen, or excuse me, a Macallan 21 year old, or almost like a Highland Park 25, where it's mm. that old sherry. You can tell there's old sherry cask in this. It's woody. For as, for as intense. Oaky. For as intense as the smell is. The, the, the taste is soft. Oh, super soft. It's really soft and delicate taste. There's a lot going on in the nose. A lot going on. I wish I had more time to sit here and like really for 20 or 30 minutes tell you what I'm smelling. Mm. The first couple times I had this, I literally smelled it for 20 minutes before I even had a sip. And just keep opening it up. Oh, man, this is good. I almost get a cinnamony quality. There's something spicy there. A light cinnamon, maybe. Apricot, maybe? Maybe a tangerine? No, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm getting more of like a cinnamon, like a, the whole stick when you put it in your tea kind of thing. Very light, though. That is a very, beauty. Very, light. I begin, and then the cocoa comes back. Yeah. Very cocoa-y. Cocoa beware, if you're a wrestling fan. What about uh, beware. Ice T's girlfriend, Coco, with the big booty? This has a bigger, this, this is actually more robust than Coco. This is more robust than Coco. And I don't know how that's even possible. Is it possible? Because that girl's body's off the chain. I don't know if it's real, though. I feel like she's a robot. Lemonade. Read the stand. Read the sign. Read the sign. Lemonade. Milkshake in the yard. What is it called, Raven? All the boys like my milkshake at the yard? Something. Yeah, that's it. How many boys like this? <laughs> All of us. This is, this is I'm it, telling it, you right it, now. It's fruity on the nose. It's it an is. apricot. It's, a, it, it's, it, it's, it's apricot, maybe a tangerine. It's like it, Madonna. It, it says one thing, but it means another. It reminds me a lot of the nose of the Macallan 21 year old fine oak. Have you ever Ooh. had that? Because there's a little bit of bourbon in this, a little bit of bourbon. Oh, you absolutely smell. A little bit of sherry. Yeah. And then that beautiful American white oak from the north slopes of the Ozarks with the tiny rings to you, sit you in the barrel it. You for three it. You, decades. You, or definitely, four. you definitely get a high end bourbon smell there for sure. Like that sweet, it, luxurious bourbon. It's all here. I mean, unless you want peat and smoke and fire, it's all the subtle, sweet, fruity notes is all right here. It's all right here. It's mine now. Debatable. Everything's debatable. He's not making it out here with that bottle. I'll chug it when he can't reach me. <laughs> Raven, jump across the game. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is good. Compared to the... You know what we should have done? What we should, first? Hot tub. Us. Time machine. This guy. Mm -hmm. And we're just sitting there in a hot tub naked drinking this. Two dudes? Yeah. Yeah. Raven filming it all. And maybe Sean. I feel like you're a hot tub kind of dude. Yeah. Hot tub. Let's go on the back. You're a construction worker. You know what? I'm not putting water in this. I don't want to ruin it. We're not doing that. I'm not putting no, water. I don't want to drink it because I just want to hold it all night and smell it. Mm. You know when you go out that one girl and you want to make love to her, but you don't want to too fast. But you do too fast and then you're like, oh, can we do it again, please? And she's like, no, you were too fast. I mean, you probably never had that problem. Mm -mm. I've had that problem. Mm. I'm sorry if you're watching. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Come back, you bitch. Huh? 
You put a little bit in your mouth, swish around your mouth, and smell it. That's what she said. You get the cocoa and you get the fruit. Because this is very, very different on the nose than it is on the palate. Mm. Very much like the Highland Park 25, you're smelling all kinds of luscious fruits. Exotic fruit. Maybe even Ooh. passion fruit. You know what it's like? What? Have you ever eaten durian? No. It's a Thai thing. It smells like rotten garbage. You eat it, it's delicious. Really? Yes. I have to try it. It's like that. Only my friend is saying it's very different on the nose than it is on the palate. I will say this though. Not friends. We had sex once. We're not friends. If you take a little bit, if you take a little bit in your mouth, so you have a little dram in your mouth, you're swishing around your mouth, and you start smelling it again, you get the cocoa in your mouth. Mm. The rich. It's a rich cocoa. Like Hershey's. Oh, so maybe a cocoa. Cocoa powder, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I had these cocoa candies one time. They were like they were like a high end candy. I got it from a customer one time. I can't remember what the name of the packaging of it was, but I tell you what, Sounds it was so rich. And maybe I'm maybe I imagine. Memories are just recreations of memories. I will say this: it's a memory of a memory of a memory. This is a beautiful package, uh, a beautiful bottle, and this is a rare scenario again with the Glen Morangi where. Oh. The packaging's fantastic, Looks and the right. whiskey's fantastic. It's actually really good. It is. For, for a reasonable, reasonable price. Okay, Billy, let's go Reasonable? Whiskey. 250 40, I mean, there's some whiskeys here that are 40 years old. This whiskey's here True. from the 70s. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. The uh, 25... Look, I didn't know anything about this until literally like 35 minutes ago. This is amazing. This is amazing. So. Lovely. Whiskey score, what do you got? Ooh, I'm in the high 90s, like 92. Stop. Just kidding. Oh, I, don't know. I just had to restart it. She's bossy. Because it was over 12 minutes. Bossy. Okay. It didn't cut so is, this, is this coming back on? It's at 92. Okay. I, am I don't at, know if I'm at a 92. I'm at, the high score I've ever given is a 91. I know. I think I'm at a, I'm at, I think I'm at a 90. I'm at a 91 I'm at a on 90. this. I'm at a 91 on this. It's just, this, this is my favorite Glen Morangi. Even, even more peach, than the quarter century. Listen, to me, if there was a little bit of peatiness in there, it'd be perfect. There's no Pete in that one. Zero. No. This is perfect the way it is. Whoever, the 16 men of Tain. Oh, they are some 16 badass dudes. I'm not even trying to. Uh -uh. Came up with the gem right here. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. Where is Tain? That's where they make it. Tain something Scotland. Scotland. No. I don't know. Scotland. All right, Bill, I know we're running a little low on time. No. Yeah. So what, what do people toss. need to do? Like, share, comment. Spread the love. And we appreciate a subscription. It helps out the channel right. a great deal. We want to thank you again for joining us. We're another Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. We'll bring you more Glen Morangis, more single malt scotch whiskeys, and we hope you join us. And as always, <laughs> happy drinking. Drink well. I try to do, I try to do thing there. I try to do. What do you think of this one? Uh, oh, that's so good. I told you it was good. That is so good. I really. Perfect dessert scotch. Yeah, it's very dessert scotch. That, yeah. that was a good thing to say. Perhaps four in one day was a bit much, but... Uh, I'm feeling it. Yeah, Eat a big-ass dinner, treat yourself to some chocolate liqueur. Chocolate and mayo. Oh, fuck, now I can't even get home in time for traffic. Well, I guess I'm hanging out next door. I guess I'll get you a pizza or something, bitch. America! This is the biggest difference between smell and taste that I've found. Oh, super. Is you really high on part 25? No, I'm not. 18? Cut it off.